which you don't want to do. Here we go. Okay, I'm got to full health. Ideally, the composition for this dungeon is just like if you can bring an archer for the mark and bring a priest for the heals. Um, but honestly, I've run, I've done this dungeon with like four crusaders and a berserker. Just bring pots. <laughs> if you don't know where pots are, you get your get your reputation in the Herbati tribe up to uh, friendly, and you can buy potions of regenerations for nine thousand gold. And another thing you can go with Navara, the reputation merchant there sells potions, the green ones, for two thousand gold. So when you come when you come down here, there's like a little eyeball that turns you to stone. You wanna he does like a DPS phase. As long as you just beat the DPS phase, you won't be turned to stone. It's actually not that big of a deal if he does. Because all you gotta do is just kill him and you're done. Alright. Also, dungeons are pretty good when it comes to XP. So, if you do pop a scroll, I mean, it's your whole. It doesn't matter who's in the dungeon, you get the same XP. Look at that monster, 8,000 XP. I'm not gonna lie though, this dungeon would have been nice though with a uh, with a priest. Cause this next this next boss <laughs> we're gonna be wasting pots like crazy. All right, Smiley. So whenever you see the mark done, you pop your mark. All right, Smiley. Why aren't you running that blessing? That's not Nightwind, that's that's the, the that that that's that's a Lionheart legacy. Alright, if you're gonna be playing with us, Smiley Yeah well if you if you're running a, if you're running yeah, basically. Alright, real quick. So basically when when you're here, wait, don't go in yet, Madge, don't go in yet. Oh, too late. It's fine. So, okay, this boss is literally just a tanky boss. It's kind of like the Cyclops. The difference is he throws acid everywhere. You want to keep the acid divided into two different rooms. So right now we're fighting on this side of the room. Um, so the Rotten Specimen is really simple to beat as long as you don't. Um, spread the acid. So when he puts his his hands on the ground, he spreads acid. But this is a specific move that he does. It spreads acid like a homing acid three times. So as a team, no matter where you are on the map, you wanna um, you wanna just stand still so it doesn't spread everywhere. Here comes a debuff. Is never mind. It's on cooldown. The uh, the big thing to remember is when you fight this boss, is if you're marked. Stand still. There's a green anchor that's gonna pop up above your head, and take that acid to the corner of a room or a wall. Is any are any of you guys marked currently? So like, you see Itchy? You see how he's over there? He doesn't want the acid to spread all over the place. Uh, so he's just kind of like standing towards the wall because he knows it's picking him. Personally, though, I would have told him it would have been better if he just stood still, so it goes in a straight line instead of spreading that whole room. But as long as you keep the acid contained, you should be safe in this dungeon. And when it gets like unbearable, you want to switch rooms. All right, so there. Yeah, switch sides. My bad. But yeah. So look at all this. Look at look at all this. Look at all this acid all over the place. On this side, it's just perfect. Cause like now we have a room to fall back on. One, this place just gets overrun. Our itchy just went down. I'm gonna go pick him up. Oh, never mind. You got it. All right. So I think this is the move that he does three times. No, it's not. 
Alright, we're good. Alright, so now Pinnacle has it. He's got the acid. He's standing still just to kind of show you guys what he's doing. That acid is going over there and we can still fight him. So this side of the room is kind of full of acid. So we want to switch rooms. So if we, after we finish fighting that, let's get to this side. That's the only way you're going to lose this fight. If you stand still and slowly move to the left, uh, the acid actually doesn't do that much damage to you. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Even though... Uh, Then, then you gotta walk slowly then. All you gotta do is just walk, s slightly dodge it. Alright, so here we go. Alright, he's got, you see that mark? I'm gonna stand right in front of him. You see it? Match, stand, yeah, that perfect. Slowly move, perfect. You see how he's, he's minimizing the amount of acid that's being spread? That's what you want to do. And he has to move, unfortunately. Um, he's not like a, a crusader. Like, anyone that's not a crusader doesn't have a shield. So he just, as, as long as he moves slightly, he's not spreading the acid everywhere. That's what you want to be doing. You don't want to be spreading the acid all over the place. Because that's going to get your whole team killed. Especially when he goes berserk. He's one of the only other monsters when he goes berserk. That just means a complete wipe. You do not want him to go berserk. You can kill him in berserk. But you're going to be wasting a lot of resources. Like scrolls and seeds and sentinel recoveries. And you don't want that. I think this might be the three. Uh, he, he hasn't done the three, uh, three acid move yet. Uh, just, just, uh, just, just use seeds so we can keep the DPS. We don't want him to go berserk. Uh, 17%. But if he does go berserk, like again, I'm telling you, you do not want to kind of ha have that kind of fight. It's better just to wipe. All right, so stand still when that acid happens. I don't know if you heard that, but he popped acid three times, and it's not spread. If you come to the concrete, I could probably get you. Oh, he might he might do it right here. Yeah, he's doing the three acid thing. We gotta switch rooms. Alright, but you see how like the acid's kind of all over the place now? We have at least this small little island to fight in. And once he it's probably gonna go away right now because he's gonna spread acid right there. So we have to kind of bring the fight to him. He needs to come closer. He's chasing me, so I'm pulling him this way. To the safe area. Alright, now it's safe. This little concrete I could fight him. Got ten percent. We can end this fight without him going on a berserk. I know it's a little bit scary when you're standing on the acid. You're like, what do you mean stand still? But the thing is, it's like that move will spread so much acid that you you're gonna kill the whole team regardless because you're spreading acid all over the place. Keep the fight on the concrete away from the acid. And this acid's easy. He's dead right here. GG's. Five minutes to kill the rotten specimen. Only, what, three deaths? But yeah, don't go into a dungeon without seeds. Don't go into a fight without seeds or recovery scrolls because otherwise you're going to be... You're going to be kind of like... The best way to put it, you're going to be like... Uh holding the team back because if they re if, if you have two reses already and you can't pick yourself up then they won't be able to revive you it's just impossible there's certain bosses that you can't do it it's just gonna take too long